Docker Alpine is a lightweight Linux distribution. One reason that it's so lightweight is that it comes with minimal utilities pre-installed. This also makes Alpine more secure as it lowers the attack surface. We can check the size of an Alpine image by spinning up a container. So here, I'm just gonna use Alpine version 3.14, create a container from it. And now if I use Docker PS and size, here's our Alpine container right here. And we can see it's only six bytes, but virtual, it's on only 5.35 megabytes. And due to Alpine's security and lightweight nature, it's often used as a base image in Docker builds. And even though Alpine comes with a minimal set of utilities, we can install packages with APK. So APK, which is Alpine's package management tool. So here, let's, we could just install a MySQL client. Now, we run MySQ, now if we run MySQL, we've got it installed. So Alpine has access to a pretty complete online repository full of tools. But of course, adding packages like this will increase the size of the container. So if we run Docker PS size again, notice now how the virtual is shot up to basically 40 megabytes with the regular size of 34.6. There are also many Docker images that have a desired package or library pre-installed on the Alpine Linux distribution. For example, I commonly use Nginx, so we can do Docker pull Nginx, but there's also a Docker Nginx Alpine image. And if we check the, compare the size of these, so we can just run Docker images, here's Nginx and here's Nginx Alpine. Notice the size difference of 47 megabytes versus 193. So that's all I wanted to show you. If you wanna have smaller Docker images, smaller artifacts, I'd consider using Alpine, especially in production. If you like content like this, check out my courses, link in the description. Also try out my Chrome extension called Witceptor, also in the description. I wanna thank you for liking and subscribing. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Besides that, take it easy.